Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Rising. I'm Alexander Frost, your host and not quite so stealth expert specialist. So we've made it into World Marshal, we've opened this first security gate, and I'm thinking something is going to happen. So, to that end, we have everything we need. I think I might have missed one box. No? Yes. Yes, I did. I did miss a box, and I want it. I don't know what's in it, but I want it. Oh, I would have missed. Aha. Also, don't ask me why. But I think there may be a man in a cardboard box in here. It just feels like it should be. Hey, hello. What are you? Nice 5,000 point bonus. Taken. Alright, I think that should just about cover it. If there is a man in the cardboard box, he's not here. Or he is here and I just don't care. <laughs> the sword is already sheathed, right? Why'd you do that? Oh, it's an elevator. No, it's not. I don't know. Let's just move on. Raiden, shall I activate your pain inhibitors now? No, keep them off. I need it this way. Ah, uh, well, as you wish. I must say, I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs, but you... Well, your past is most... Uh... What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time, you're working with First World ex-military. Grown men. Compared to the average Third World child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them, they're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but, uh... This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but, uh... Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. Uh, yes. Jesus, Raiden, calm the fuck down, son. Damn. You haven't been this angry since the final boss fight of Metal Gear Solid 2. Speaking of which, I actually am thinking about playing the Metal Gear Solid series for the- Oh, crap. Gotta go. They're pouring in from everywhere. This is crazy! Do not have to fight every enemy you encounter, right? Try and keep moving! Exactly. No need to fight, just run. Yeah? <laughs> Idiots. You. Miss me. Hi there. Oh, he's following me. I hear him. Have to fight the grad? You know what? I'll fight him. All these sliders in the area. Perhaps they could be put to use. Come on, really? Raiden! Raiden! Well, this is embarrassing. Keep climbing like that. It will be much easier for you. Good, Raiden. Yes!
Right away is up now, yeah? Almost there. I have just finished analyzing the latest security data. You should find an indoor garden up ahead. A garden? Sounds fancy. A Japanese garden, to be precise. It is an area set aside for VIPs. Apparently, one of World Marshal's directors is a rather serious Japanese culture enthusiast. All right. So what's this got to do with me? Is there something I need from the garden? Not at all. You need only pass through that area to arrive at a freight elevator. I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. I have located the server room as well. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear Raiden. Now, head for the garden. Apparently that fall knocked Raiden out of his bitchy pissy mode. Also, that was incredibly embarrassing. I haven't had that happen to me since... God, I don't know think about when. This is very elaborate. It's pretty too. It's nice to look at. It feels it, it's 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 just nice. Of course now I'm somewhere here. Oh, don't damage anything in the garden. It's too pretty and I don't want to damage anything in life. I was trying to check something, but you're obviously going to move. Wow, how did I not get hit by that? Oh shit, three! That's an RPG! Good. What I was trying to check was to see if those were destructible. And they are. I didn't destroy them, which is good. See you up there. I know you're waiting for me. Hi. Come on then. Thank you, camera angle, for fucking me up. Oh, come on. Come on! Ha ha! More classified data! I believe I have all I need for a little surprise! Okay, that was just unnecessarily brutal. I'm not gonna lie. What I did was wrong. Another semi-stealthy segment. Now, if I tear this open, there's a guy with a rocket launcher on the other side who will shoot me. But I can get him from behind if I go this way. Go right. Do the 
this ride. Very good. Also saves me from suddenly finding myself on the ass end of an ass kicking, which I kind of sort of don't want right now. All right, now I can get up here. Well, I said I can get up here. I can't. <laughs> Raiden, get up there. There's a lot of mastiffs around here. The main exit is sealed. I very much doubt you can get through there. The catwalk above you was connected to a corridor meant for transporting materials. You can take that to the elevator. Yeah, there are a few mastiffs around. Those are the only ones that really worry me. I could sneak up on this guy. Very careful not to um Sneaking up on them is very tricky because if you do it in the wrong position you could find yourself um getting close enough to quote unquote touch them. And if you touch them, they get triggered. And obviously you don't want to trigger them. I believe Here's the thing. The Mastiff up there, he can't really see me as long as I stay over here. There he is. Let's see. Look the other way. I don't even know why I'm trying to be stealthy on this, honestly. I shouldn't. I think the nice death may have spotted me. Looks like he's now on patrol. This is a problem for me. Maybe. Actually, by doing that, that puts him out of position. So instead of having to sneak up on him... Oh. Actually, that worked to my advantage in a way I never thought of before. Normally, I would have had to have snuck all the way around to get to him. I would have had to have snuck up a long way around to get to him, but now... Prompt. I can just stab him in the butt! And suddenly my job is about 700% easier! a good cyborg. This looks so out of place, it hurts. But if it can let me sneak up on this guy... Apparently I didn't even need it. Hold it. The other guy's coming back. There we go. 
know. doesn't know how much danger he's in. And I don't know why I have five cardboard boxes. I only ever needed the one. I'm going to slice you up into little pieces. Yes, I am. I'm gonna kill this camera. Yes, Tovarich. Then all that's left is for me to just wander around and grab all the goodies. Because we like goodies. Let's see, electrolyte pack. Is helpful. Is there anything else? There is one other thing. You see those lanterns there? I can actually climb those and go up that pagoda and attack that um, that spire at the very top. There's a trophy to get it. I've already earned it on this account, so there's no point in me even doing it. But you can climb all the way up there and destroy it. I don't think there are any items up there or anything worth getting other than the achievement, and I think you end up getting into a fight, but it's still nice to have. Now... The way I would have gotten that second Mastiff normally would have been sneak up on the first one, which was here, then drop down and kill the three guys, and then basically work my way over here, because even though the Maestiff was standing over there, he couldn't see me. He wouldn't have been able to see me, so I could have completely bypassed him or snuck up behind him by going all, all right. the way around. Follow the catwalk straight ahead to reach the elevator. So now that that is all said and done... Also, once you go in here, yeah, there's no going back to the garden, so... My apologies, Raiden. I seem to have fallen behind. No worries. Actually, I should thank you. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then, that is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. Not sure how to feel about that. Also, apparently there are some enemies over there. Ah, another section where I can I reach the you. server room via the freight elevator just ahead. Why did you sheath your sword? You had it out. You had it out. Yeah, once you get to that point, that freight elevator goes up. And then those enemies disappear, and you really only have a few to worry about. Yeah, 
That guy over there on the right, he will never see you. will stand there, like a dumbass, forever. Excellent. Very well, done. well, I didn't get the, uh, that's fine. I got the arm. It had better be a health upgrade. Now, just so you know, um, all you have to do is go into blade mode to cut those open. You don't actually have to have a blue FCL fluid to do it. Also, uh, that's a fucking pit, so don't drop into it. <laughs> don't be stupid. Be careful. Now, let's see, I could have sworn there was... Yeah, there's a few things in here I can collect before I, before I have to leave. says there's a box up there. Oh, it's easy to get. I'm just blind. All I have to do is climb here, and here, and then there it is. Easy peasy, one, two, three, easy. Cheeky bastard, you're waiting for me. Did I slice the grenade in half? You didn't need that foot, did you? I don't know if I can get knocked off the elevator. We'll find out. Don't know if I can get knocked off the elevator. Don't want to find out the hard way. Waited too long, but I got both of them. That's the important part. Puppies! You're armed with chainsaws too? Well, I guess it would make sense.
Oh, you're the one with the rage. Well, the camera wasn't working with me on that one. Yep, that's it. Yep, yep. I think I have to climb up here now. Not sure if that's a timed event or not, but I'd rather not take the chance if you, if you feel me. They are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevators. You pass to the server room deeds right through them. Wonderful. I'm about to run away, and then I stay high. I'll be there. Okay. Don't focus on him first. Focus on the birds. The birds. Focus on the other bird. Oh. You have an arm that I want. Now there's two of you. And a mastiff. Okay. It will be noted that I think going into blade mode will disable um, ripper mode. Nope. Come here, bird. I said, come here, bird. Let me kill you. Damn it, he's trying to focus on the master. Blade mode doesn't deactivate it, or it sort of does? Hmm. <sighs> All I know is that was a little intense. The important thing is, we made it. And once again, be careful not to fall down there, because that is a one way trip to. Yeah, don't fall down there if you can. Something over here? No, I think over there. But it seems like I should be able to get in there. Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. No, there's a way in there. 
and it's right there next to me. There's our man in the box. I don't think I have collected them all. But I'm doing better in this run than I have ever, so... Who knows, maybe I'll get this Now we can. However, I think this is a good place to stop because I think there's another event coming up and I am at the 30 minute mark. So thank you for watching everyone and next time we will continue onwards to the server room. Until then everyone. <laughs>